local, it's organic, no antibiotics ever. And then, you know, it's one bad day at the slaughterhouse. Totally humane. Oh my goodness. What do you think about that? Terrible. I just really don't like this. This is, I've gotten myself into a fecal. Support your local farmers. Try dog meat today. Y'all want some dog meat? We're out here promoting uh, our organic dog meat farm. It's all humane, it's local. Some people are kind of weird about it, but what do you think about eating dogs? It seems a little, well, it's unorthodox, that's the word. It's local, it's humanely slaughtered. We uh, we give them a really good life, so they live for about one to two years on the farm. And like I said, it's local, it's organic, no antibiotics ever. And then, you know, it's one bad day at the slaughterhouse. Totally humane. Oh my goodness. What do you think about that? Terrible. Why? So bad. What's wrong with that? It's all humane. I don't think chickens have brains and dogs do. Does that sound right? Why not? I guess it's a dog. So? I mean, they're, you know, we bred them this way. Yeah, like when you put it like that, then, huh? They've got protein, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin B12, tasty. Well, personally, I don't know about that. I don't have any. Well, that's why we're giving out samples, you know, because a lot of people are like worried that it wouldn't taste good. But if you think about it, people have been eating dogs for thousands of years. So why would they continue to eat dogs if they didn't taste good? Good point. Yeah. Seems like I've sold you on dog meat. So uh, do you want to try bulldog bacon? Retriever ribs? My favorite is this bulldog bacon. Probably. I wouldn't say no to bacon. All right. Oh, is it actual? No, I'm messing with you. Yeah, I'm like, huh. So. Oh, no. <laughs> what am I signing up for? But chickens do have brains. I know. I just really don't like this. I've got myself into a fickle. Why? Because <laughs> I love dogs too much. You love dogs too much. What about other animals? They're well, the they same. Cats. You can, why not cats? We could we could <laughs> have a cat farm too. Take an animal's life. You have to have a certain level of admiration for that animal. You have to love that animal. That's why we hunt the most loved animal of all: house cats. Should. Yeah. <laughs> should. So you would support eating cats, but not dogs. I wouldn't eat either, but I'd- Why wouldn't you eat cats? I would support. I'm actually a cat hunter. I call it cunting. They call it cunting. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's odd. That's so cunting's good, but <laughs> yeah. killing dogs humanely is not. <laughs> cunting, as we call it, it's uh, trickier than most people think. I mean, most cats we come across are protected by a family of humans. So when you thought it was real, what kind of feelings were you having? A little just worried on that. A, where does one get this? Elwood Dog Park. Elwood Dog Park. See? Right here. And v, Local. And V just like, it gets a little inhumane, this feels like. Sure, so what about like uh, pigs or chickens and cows? Like, do you eat those? A little, yeah. Yeah, so what would be the difference between eating dogs and eating those animals? That's it off the field, like, huh. Now what's the difference between a dog and a and a cow. Yeah, what do you think is the difference? I guess when you put it the way you have, it's not a lot, really. But you're not gonna eat dog? No, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I try it like one day if I like go to a different culture. Oh. Uh, Even though you're so against it yourself, it, if it was like a different country, it'd be okay? Uh, not me. Is there any difference in their ability to feel emotions or pain? That that I know of. Maybe some scientist will tell you that a dog feels more emotion than a, a cow or something like that. But I argue a cow is smarter than a than a dog. Yeah, I think they might be. I'm not exactly sure. I know pigs are smarter than dogs though. Yeah. Not to mention they have the same their inner organs are almost identical to us humans. Yeah, because I mean, do you think humans are animals? Yeah. We're actually trolling people. We're not actually selling dog meat. We're all vegan. We're showing the difference, the hypocrisy between not eating dogs, but being happy to eat cows and pigs and chickens because they all suffer. They all feel pain. You can have pigs as pets. You can have cows as pets. There's no moral difference between one and the other. None of them want to die, right? I don't know. There might be some suicidal animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are suicidal humans. That doesn't give you the right to murder people, right? Yeah, sure. What we're out here fighting for is animal rights because we feel that like since humans are animals and feel pain and don't want to die same with dogs same with cats why shouldn't we extend that to farm animals does that make sense that's true yeah have you ever thought about it before no not really yeah 
I am now. What's the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies the difference in treatment? That's a really good question. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have the answer. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, well, since you can't even quantify what it is, maybe it's not a good enough reason to harm animals when you don't need to. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm curious, what would stop you from like, because you clearly had some emotions about eating dogs. What would stop you from kind of listening to those emotions and saying like, I don't want to pay for any animals to be abused anymore? What would stop me from doing that, I guess? Hunger. Hunger? <laughs> yeah. Are there other things you could eat? We can go for the, what, plant-based protein, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried any? I have, I have. But I haven't really tried too many. I haven't been exposed to a lot of them. Yeah. I also do know they're a little bit pricier. Mm. If you're talking about, like, purely those substitutes, sometimes they are a little bit pricier. But when you look at plant-based diets on the whole, they actually come in 30% cheaper than omnivore diets. So is it something you would consider, like, kind of expanding your options and maybe learning about how to not harm animals when you don't have to. You know, I, I go to Burger King sometimes and I see that they have the impossible. Water. Yeah, that shit's good. And I've not tried it, but I've heard that it's really good. And I really think that if you can make food taste good and it's made out of plants, then sure, why not? Do you think there's a nice way to kill an animal who doesn't want to die? Is there a nice way to kill an animal? Yes. Should the animal be killed? No. That's a great point. How could you justify killing an animal when you don't need to, do you think? I feel like you can't. <laughs> yeah. But let's say it didn't taste as good. No. Do you, then no. Then no? Matters. Okay, but do you think taste is more important than like animals' lives? Like taste or life? <laughs> That's such a terrible question. But it's accurate, right? Yeah, I mean, how could you compare taste animals <laughs> right right but that, that's what we're doing if we're saying i'm only eating this because it tastes good then you're saying an animal lived for one to two years they suffered they kept in cages they didn't see sunlight the only day they saw sunlight was on their way to a slaughterhouse where they were violently killed and chopped into pieces for you know a few minutes of sensory pleasure isn't that kind of fucked up yeah yeah. yeah. Let's say you could talk to a cow and the cow was going to ask you, like, why are you eating me when you don't have to? What would you say to that cow? Let's say I've been ignorant, I guess. But now that you're not ig ignorant, what would you say now? I would try not to. Cool. Cool thing is that, you know, the world is changing. We don't have to do this anymore. It's part of culture now, but we've seen culture change in many ways since we've been alive, like the gay rights movement, women's rights. Um, Culture change is faster than we think, and we have an opportunity now to be part of the, the positive change. Let me give you some resources. Let me, let me ask you one last question. If you could live a life where you intentionally harmed humans, harmed animals, or neither, what would you choose? <laughs> and I get tasty food. And you get a tasty food. Neither. Hell yeah, high five, man. You have, that, you have that option by going vegan. So let me give you some resources. And I also have this. It's a little brochure about dog meat, but on the back, uh, there are resources to help you go vegan because you clearly are bothered by this animal abuse, right? So we're giving you a way out, you know? You no longer have to contribute to it. Yay. And it's pretty amazing, right? I have tried to like cut back on like... Yeah. I tried to do the best I can, but now... Yeah, well now we're gonna make it real easy for you. Amazing. And what was your name? Albert. Albert, Natalie, it's been a pleasure. You have a great day. If you enjoyed this and want to help me do activism full-time while getting exclusive content, join my Patreon today. Special thanks to my morally superior patrons, Amy and Andy.